Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. Today's video is the second in our series on what is ITIL. We adapted this short series from a, a article or white paper on the website itinfo.am. And so we're still asking that rhetorical question, what is ITIL? ITIL was originally developed in the late 1980s, a long time ago, by Britain's Central Computer and Telecommunications Agency, CCTA for short, and now known as the Office of Government Commerce, OGC. You'll see the OGC on, on much of the ITIL uh, documentation. Rather than a rigid set of rules, ITIL provides a framework that companies can adapt to meet their own organizational needs. This is one of the big things that I think sets ITIL apart. It's not prescriptive. It gives you a framework to adapt to your organization. Each organization does not need to implement every process, just those that make sense and fit into the way the organization wants to do business. And so some processes may be abandoned later when post-implementation reviews show limited value, while others may be implemented as gaps are discovered or needs change, especially the needs of our business. ITIL breaks down IT functions into discrete, full-function components that span the enterprise. These are called services in the ITIL world. These services have been designed in a building block manner so that they can be provisioned easily either internally or through the use of an external service provider. In each case, best practices for the delivery of the service are identified and they are addressed at three different levels. And I really like this approach. We have strategic, long-term goals of the, of the particular service and high-level activities needed to accomplish them, accomplish them. So there's a strategic viewpoint. There's also Second of all, a tactical. And so let's talk tactical. Tactical is a word that kind of gets misplaced a little bit, but we care about specific processes that guide the tasks and activities needed to perform and provision the service. This is our tactical way of, of managing. And lastly, and third, we're talking operational. Actual execution of the processes to provide the service to the customer and in users. Successful completion, uh, completion of the operational tasks means that strategic goals are accomplished within the expected timeframes. So the thought process of strategic, tactical, and operation, operational is a very good viewpoint. This is Jeffrey T. Pertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. Please like or share the video subscribe to our channel, leave us feedback. We'd love to hear from you and feel free to connect with us on LinkedIn. Have a great, great day. Bye.